Lovers of French culture can expect to be captivated by a series of art and culinary delights from next week. The annual Voila! France Singapore Festival returns and will be the first foreign cultural festival here since the COVID-19 pandemic began. The spotlight will be cast on the long-standing relationship between Singapore and France. This includes the legacy of twice premier of France Georges Clemenceau, who visited Singapore in the early part of the 20th century. The lineup this year includes on-site and virtual programs covering the areas of art, food, film, music, and even sports. And for more, we're joined by French Ambassador to Singapore, Marc Abenso, and Sharon Au, patron of this year's festival. Thank you for joining us this evening. Ambassador, I want to start with you. Another year has gone by that's really quick. And uh, again, we're here at uh, Voila, the festival. So what are some of the highlights we shouldn't miss and the significance of it being held this time? Well, thank you very much for uh, having us tonight and welcome to the French residents. Um, this year, I mean, voila, it's a lineup of um, 50 programs, and we team up with more than 100 partners. So I won't go into details. You asked me what you shouldn't miss for sure. Uh, the opening, uh, the opening will coincide with the 100th anniversary of Georges Clemenceau uh, visit to Singapore. Uh, you mentioned it. I mean, and uh, you know, you are familiar with the Clemenceau Avenue, uh, maybe less. Uh, with the French uh, statesman, is uh, very well known because he's the one who led France, I mean, to the victory uh, in the First World War. And so we will uh, have a free a way to uh, commemorate his visit to Singapore. There will be an exhibition at the Singapore National Museum, I mean, to present Clemenceau and also his passion uh, for Asia. And then uh, we will have uh, a play that he wrote he was a literary man. He wrote many books, many articles, but he wrote only one play, uh, which uh, takes place in ancient China. It's called The Veil of Happiness. It's the story of a Mandarin who got blind. And uh, there will be also a conference the day after, the 23rd of October, with a very uh, well-known uh, French historian, Jean-Noël Jeannonet, and uh, Kevin Tan, who is a former president of Singapore uh, Heritage Society. And they will uh, engage in a dialogue on Clemenceau and Dr. Lim Boon Ken, because when Clemenceau visited Singapore, he was hosted by uh, Dr. Lim Boon Ken, and he, Lim Boon Ken brought him to visit temples, schools, and so on. So it's a, a way, I mean, also to uh, celebrate uh, Clemenceau and his uh, fascination, pa passion for Asia. And uh, as you may know, I mean, in France, many politicians had a, a fascination for Asia. It dates back to uh, the Enlightenment period, 18th century. There will be many other uh, events. I won't mention all of them, but uh, maybe one on uh, gardens, plants, and spices, and how uh, the spices and plants of uh, Singapore and the region also inspired uh, French uh, lifestyle in perfume, in decorative arts, uh, in gardening as well. And it's uh, an exhibition which will be curated by uh, Pascal Gab, a very well-known French uh, garden designer, and uh, the Singapore National uh, Botanics uh, Gardens. So many, many other events, I won't mention all of them. Yeah, thank you very much, Ambassador, for giving us a bit of a roundup. Uh, Sharon, uh, let's get your thoughts as, as the patron. What are some of the activities that you're looking forward to sort of sharing with the wider community? First of all, bonjour from my Paris apartment to everyone, Mr. Ambassador, Glenda and Steve and Singapore. Um, this year's lineup is very exciting and I'm particularly very looking forward to Infinite Plural Conferences. Um, a group of powerhouse women coming together and guiding us through the world of science and art. That, that really um, you know, is something that I'm looking forward to. And of course, uh, the other talk um, that is conducted by the Asian Civilizations Museum, headlined by Paris-based Singaporean designer Andrew Gunn, my very favourite designer, together with Kenny Tang, um, Jackie Young, and of course, Aurelie Samuel, of curator of YSL. Um, that, that will be a very interesting talk about Asia in fashion. 
And last but not least, my very dear old friend, Melissa Teo, is having an, an exhibition in the audience about Les Arts de Paris, okay, the trees of Paris, basically. And through her lens, you will get to see a spiritual world full of light. And I can't wait to see her latest work. Sharon, you, we know you've lived in Paris for a while now. What are some interesting similarities and differences you've noticed between French and Singaporean culture? You know, what have you learned during your time in France? Similarities. We both love our food and our wine. And, you know, both, uh, bo both countries uh, embrace art and uh, the beauty that is around us. So I think that that is something that is universal. Um, differences, <laughs> too many. <laughs> How many minutes do you have? <laughs> but um, through the differences, I've learned many, many lessons uh, during my past three years living in one. Paris. And for example, I learned to engage in, one. <laughs> for example, I learned to engage in uh, active debates, um, even about uh, sensitive topics to really avoid, for example political ideologies, religion, philosophy, etc. Um, and also, I learned to not beat around the bush um, and to ask for whatever you want. You know, you don't wait for things to land on your lap. If you want something, you ask for it. Sound advice. Uh, Ambassador, let me come to you uh, quickly. Aside from uh, voila, how else is the French Embassy reaching out to interest Singaporeans to get involved in French Singaporean exchanges? Well, I think the, what we realized uh, during the, the secret breaker, and uh, I would say it was the same in France with the lockdown, it's that um, we need culture, we need arts, science uh, to increase our resilience when confronted to uh, such uh, situations. And so, through Voila, it's a way also to uh, bring to the public this kind of spiritual dimension, which can help us to go through the current uh, crisis. And the other thing uh, uh, that I, we realize is that actually, uh, of course, there are many constraints we are confronted to, but it's also a, a huge opportunity for us to test uh, new technological solutions, uh, new uh, ways to collaborate and engage together. And let me give you just one example. Uh, during Voila, uh, there is the famous uh, Singaporean uh, conductor, uh, Ka Chun Wong. Uh, he, director, uh, he directed in France uh, National Orchestra, the Greater Paris National Orchestra, in collaboration with a French startup called Nomad Play, which has developed a kind of karaoke for uh, classical music. And so we will uh, use this and also uh, invite Singaporean musicians to participate uh, to this uh, performance, there will be a competition and the winner will be invited to Paris to join the orchestra. So you see, it's also a huge opportunity. We have also, of course, because French people could not make the journey to Singapore to participate directly to uh, Voila. So we will uh, have many of them. Uh, we will contribute remotely from France. And it was an opportunity to uh, engage with the uh, high-level personalities from France. Let me mention just a, a French uh, female astronaut, Claudie Aignoret. Uh, there is also uh, William Christie, I mean, the uh, Baroque musician, uh, directing the uh, ensemble Les Arts Florissants. And uh, also Anne-Sophie Pic, a well-known chef, who has opened a, a restaurant here in Singapore at the Raffles Hotel. Right, many thanks uh, for that, Ambassador. Wish you all the best. It does sound very exciting indeed. Uh, we've been speaking uh, to uh, the French ambassador to Singapore, Marc Abansor, and Sharon, our patron of the Voila France Singapore Festival.